All right, it's 624. Welcome back. We are joined now by Amanda O'Neill with Sidekick Dog Training and Colton as well, our lovely assistant today. Thanks for being here this early, Colton. Uh, and we've also got a couple of furry friends with us. We've got Cash and Muffin. And Amanda, today we're talking about getting those dogs ready to be social with those temperatures cooling down, fall is coming, it is festival season. Uh, yeah. What are some tips for dog owners? Um, so impulse control. Impulse control is um, probably one of the hardest skills for dogs and um, for owners to have patience to teach their dog impulse control. So when you go out in public, you want your dog not pulling you and pulling towards other people and other dogs. You want them just to walk nicely on the leash and basically ignore everybody mm -hmm. um, until you give them a cue to they can go meet the people. And one of the skills that they're doing now is <laughs> called the do nothing game. So they're good, just good. they're chilling out with us My and favorite. having some impulse control in the presence <laughs> of new friends and Hi. old friends. So. Well, that's good to know. Uh, and so it is, like, like we've been saying, it is the good time of year. We've got, are these dogs familiar with each other? Yeah. They, they know each other yeah. pretty well. So what are some things that you would, you know, you would do, uh, how, how would it look? as far as that goes for, for a dog owner? So when you're walking around, um, you're just gonna tell your dog to leave mm -hmm. um, all the, the fun environments. And then um, by doing, one of the things we do is uh, the do nothing game. So mm -hmm. when you're sitting down or you go to a park bench or somewhere out in public, and you're just gonna sit there with your dog and do exactly <laughs> what he does is just have him chill out until you yes. give him a cue mm -hmm. and they can go either meet a person or they can go meet a dog. So Cash, okay, now you can go meet, go play. Then when oh. they have, so if they know that there's times where they can meet dogs and people, then they're gonna be more apt to have some impulse oh. control until they hear that cue. Okay, well he knows his lines for yep. sure. He, was, uh, he got the bark in there for yeah. us, for sure on that. Now I understand you got some equipment here on the dogs yeah. that could probably be a big help for people. I know pulling for our golden retriever at home is sometimes a battle that we have continued to kind of fight. What kind yeah. of equipment would you recommend? So this is a harness and this one, um, it has an attachment on the front, mm -hmm. so it really helps block that forward motion. So if you need to pull them back towards you or something, <laughs> you have way more control over the front, so you can redirect them back to mm -hmm. you, so that, and you're not pulling on their neck. So equipment can really make or break your training. Good to know, good and to having know. Having a trainer that can is knowledgeable and can teach you about different types of um, equipment is going to be the key. So we have classes and private training that can help you with that. And if people want more information on how to get that quickly before we go, how can they get it? With um, Facebook training? or our website. All right. Well, that sounds great. SpringfieldSidekickDogTraining.com. And you got the number there at the bottom of the screen. We're going to let Cash and Muffin and Colton and Amanda <laughs> all get back to their day here. Thank you guys for joining us and uh, some good tips for you there if you want to get those dogs out and about.